So I'm gonna do the like French braided braid. I don't know how to explain it. So it's not like the regular like you know single braid. It's there. It's like gonna be in here. So the only thing you actually need for this is like these clips. Yeah, I like these clips or a bobby pin, whichever one you want. Cause the bobby pin you can put under your hair so you don't have to see it. But I like the clips because they hold better. So, all my hair is up. So you just take the top section, this is very hard to do when I'm looking at the camera. Top section of your hair, you could part it whichever way you want to. And then just start off like a regular braid. So, oh my gosh. So it's just like you're braiding normally. And then just start braiding. And then after you're past like you know the first braided thing, Start grabbing hair, if you could see, like, by your head. Start grabbing that hair, and then braid that into it. And then grab more hair further down. And just keep doing it. And also, go, like, back. Like, don't direct it down. Direct it back, so when you pull it back, there's no, like, you know, those bump things. And then just keep doing that. So if you want it down, you could have to go all the way down your hair if you wanted to. But I like to just go back. And you can make it, depends how thin or thick your hair is, but mine's going to be like a thin braid. And then if you want, you could make it thicker. So if you want a thick braid and whatnot. So it doesn't matter where you stop. If you want it like short, you can stop there. Or you could keep going all the way down and then like wrap it around your head to the back. And then maybe do it on the same other side or just whatever amount of things you want. So I like to do that so it's not like all the way back. But see nice things? Up. If you want, you could like make this side of like volume already and then you could do the other side. Like what? that's how that looks. So if you could. Oh, do you see that? Yeah, and then, so yeah, that's, that's the braid. It's like really cute and stuff. So the next thing we're going to do is a fishtail braid. And I have to do it on Lisa's hair because it's longer, so, because my hair's too short. But I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, you're going to take your hair and separate it into two. And it really doesn't matter, like, the separation. I mean, I'm going to try to make it even without hurting Lisa with her tangles and knots. Thanks. <laughs> and, I mean, what you can do is also, before you start, you can do something on the side. Because you can't do this like a French braid. You can't start all the way at the top. But basically, what you do is you take it into two, and you're going to take a piece from this side, and you're going to bring it over and put it into this hand. You have to take advantage of, like, your hands, because you don't want to lose any pieces. After you put it on this side, you're going to take a hair from this side, like so, and you're going to put it over here, and you're going to pull as tight as you can go, and then you're going to do the same, pull a hair over, and I'm going to pull a hair this way, and see, like, if I don't have it tightened, like, you can lose hair, especially when you have a lot of hair like she does, pull a piece over. And it with a hair tie. If I have one, yeah, I have one on my wrist. Like so. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna butt. Go here. And that's basically look how it looks. Just make sure you tighten it at the top. And then with it, you can put it to the oh. front, like that. Oh, so people beautiful. Okay? So and also, 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 you can um you can make it like looser, 
So then it looks like more messy or like a, ew, what the heck, <laughs> like a messy look type of thing. And that's why, and you can also do like a twist here with your bangs, if you have bangs to keep them. But you can do what Lisa just did and put it at the side, but obviously keep it longer, but we didn't do it all the way because, so yeah. That's the one to the side, you can make it messy or you can make it like perfect, whichever one you prefer, what kind of person you are. Um, so if you want, you could just do the bun or you could do what I'm going to do first. You could do like a twist thing into it and then you could do the bun. So depending on whatever side you want the bun to be on, you could do it on the same side as a twist or you could do the opposite side. I prefer the same side, but that's just me. And also the twist like shows your highlights, so whichever. So then just secure that, whichever. If you want it to be seen like this thing, you could do this. Or if you um, don't want it to be seen, then you could do the um, bobby pin. So, okay. So it depends. If you want it low, you could do it here, or you could like do it up. But I kind of like mine low. So, I mean, it's like um. <laughs> you could do it like um you could just bring it all up like that and secure it or you could actually like start wrapping it depends like what, what you, want. you want personally personally I like to go over it once and then like go like a messy bun type of thing and then maybe go like halfway through I can't really why am I not be able to do this today And then wrap that around the half of it. It's like falling out. So if you could, can you see that kind of thing? So that's kind of how it is actually. And if you want, you could uh, you could actually pin it up. So it's like that. If you want it higher, you could put it like there. Or on the other side. Depends what you want, preferably. But I think that looks cute. So yeah. And yeah, you could fix that. So that's the uh, side bun and the twist. So the next hairstyle is just a headband. But I'm just going to show you how I put my headband in. It's just like the plastic ones. You can get them like five for a dollar at a dollar store. Or like CVS or whatever. So basically this is how I put my head there. Then. Flip my head over. Then you take your head down. You put it in. And you push up, and then you flip your head over, and it's going to look wild. And you kind of just tame up your hands. And, like, like make sure, like, and then take your, and just, like, pull it forward. And that's basically it. But what you can do is, I know, you can take a hair tie, and you can put it in, like, if you don't have that much time for school, and you don't want to, and if you want to straighten it, you can. But if you're in a hurry, you can like put it in a ponytail, or you can put it in a side ponytail, or even what Lisa did, you can put it in that side bun with this, or you can do a half up, half down with like a clip. But like, there's a lot of ways you can just use a headband in your. So that's basically. It. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna do on Amanda's hair because I can't do it on myself. Okay, okay. So turn, could you turn around? Thank you. Stop! 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 Okay, sit right here. <laughs> so you're going to take, you could part your hair first, whichever, if you want to part, if you don't want to part it. And then you're going to take the side that has the least hair, and you are going to, take, you know, like, but take a little chunk of hair right above your ear. Like, do you see that? It's not the section right above, but it's like right above your ear. Okay. Doesn't it could be maybe like an inch thick, and then just start twisting that, or stop eating, <laughs> or you could um you could actually braid it. It depends how much time you have, how much well, what look you're going for. So you're just gonna start doing this, and if things if it falls out, it doesn't matter. Like if hair falls out, so then bring this to this side. I'm just gonna use Amanda's obnoxious clip here. <laughs> And I'm going to clip it to the back of her head. So you just leave that there. And it kind of just fell out. But that shouldn't be that tight. So then, turn her. Opposite side. 
So then, if you have bangs, you could leave your bangs out because it depends how really long. Bangs but anyway, so people can have it. If you have short bangs, obviously you can't get it in there, so just leave them out. And Amanda's are not going to go in this because it's not going to reach the back of her head. So if they're that long, then obviously. But what if I want them down? Then you can clip them up. Okay, Amanda, you're not clipping them up. Okay. I don't like them. Just. So, it doesn't matter where you take it, just take it. And then you're going to start twisting it like you did the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then, you know how I showed you these clips? Well, you could take these clips on um, for this, and that would be easier. But this is in my hair right now, and we don't have one. So, you could also bobby pin it, whichever one you want. So, you could turn around. Okay, good. So, now you could um, do this, and then you could also bobby pin it like that, so it looks good. Or you could clip it with the obnoxious clip, which would be easier now. Or you could actually... Ow! Sorry. Do you see that? Okay, and then you could actually take, like, little hair ties like this, and you could just secure it like that, and then see how that goes. So that's the hairstyle. Turn around. So then it, it doesn't have her bangs in it. If she had shorter bangs, it would be shorter. It would look better. That's really annoying, thing. though. If you don't want your bangs in it, you could do a little poof to it. Or you could actually, like hers, you could bring it like halfway and then bobby pin it and it looks like it goes like that. So then that's the hairstyle. So hope you like it.